please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on your bell notification so you don't miss another video. Hello guys, we are going to be using the Jumbo Towers, I got that from Ross, wood glue from Dollar Tree, and a carpenter's ruler to keep our project straight. In this project, we are going to start out by placing our wooden blocks and we are forming a rectangular shape. So if this is your first time watching my videos, welcome to the family. So glad that you're here. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you for watching. Now that we got the template for our rectangular shape going, we are going to apply the wood glue from Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, as you can see, I was having some difficulty with the glue. Um, I tried to put it on there, but I had to open up the little tip. So this is what I'm trying to do and I finally got it, yay. So we're gluing down the pieces together and the uh, carpenter ruler is helping us keeping everything straight. I will be uploading every Friday or Saturday. So turn on your bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Awesome. So we got our first piece done and we are going to be repeating that um, step making the rectangular shape. Um, we're going to do five of those rectangles shape with the wooden blocks. Okay, so we got our five pieces of the rectangular shape uh, wooden blocks done. So right now I'm just creating a template of how I want it to be um, displayed. So now it's time to apply the wood glue um, to form the shape that we need. On the bottom part of our project, we are putting on shelves to display our beautiful pieces. If you guys enjoying this project, please consider subscribing. Now we're going to use some Waverly white paint 
to paint our project. Of course, you can use any color that fits your design. Now I'm gonna add a little bling um, in the seams, like I'm showing you here, just to kind of give it um, a little more glamorous effect and also to camouflage those little um, ridges. And the bling I got them is the diamond wraps. I got those from Dollar Tree and it have the self-adhesive on the back. So you don't need to add any extra glue if you don't want to. So on the very top there, as you can see, it was missing a little piece and of course it bothered me just a little bit so I had to go back and put that in there. We are going to be adding some fairy lights. These are the manual ones but if you're um, thinking of making this project, I would recommend to get the fairy lights with the remote control. This way you don't have to manually each time to go and turn it on individually. I chose this particular pattern, but you could choose any pattern that you like um, when you're putting on the fairy lights. You just have to make sure that you put the hot glue um, on the wire and try not to um, put it on the lights, of course. But you can create any pattern that you like. I'm creating three panels with the fairy lights because I want a lot of lighting for this project. I'm using the chopping mats from Dollar Tree to create the screen for each of my panels. As you can see, you just have to cut it out on, based on the shape of each of the panels and you place it on there. I use the diamond wrap from Dollar Tree as the adhesive to keep it on there. But if you want, you could add a little bit of glue to secure it. Next, I use this blinged out uh, wrap to put on the edges there. I'm sorry I lost the footage of me applying it, but it's pretty simple. So you just put it on the top edge like so in the video. For our little display piece, I'm using Dollar Tree gems and putting it in a glass vase with flowers in it. To secure it on the wall, I'm adding the Dollar Tree picture brackets. Check out our piece, we're all done. So now we get to display whatever we want on our little shelves. For this project, I'm gonna use a glass with flowers in it. So beautiful. What you guys think? Okay guys, well comment down below. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.